and further the demand will cut down so what happened the production and employment will fall I mean there will be unemployment the employment will fall the general price level will begin to fall because there is people don't have money to buy the goods so ultimately the price level will come down and eventually when this happens this will continue to happen this will make you to reach to the point B and this is called as depression phase you see this is depression this is a total downward movement this will continue 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 if if uh, any if, if there is no concrete measure taken by the government so this situation will continue to happen and it will make the things worse and ultimately lead it to uh, the point B which is depression so what will happen after depression then the government is taking some measures so what will happen the point C the economy has reached the recovery phase you know when there is worse of something then good things starts happening after that so see the economy has reached the recovery phase the output employment and income will begin to rise how because government might have injected some money in it right government might have increased some spending so when government in has increased its spending so what will happen it will increase employment opportunities it will increase output in the economy and it will increase ultimately the overall income right so the rising production then sales now people guy find the jobs when they find the job they have the money when they have the money they will have more demands in the business of uh, more demands of goods and services so the company will have more sales and more profit hence to earn more sales and more profit they will lead to more invest more in the economy right so then this is the now recovery you see this is moving upward so when this and when this continue to happen and continue to happen so ultimately we will move towards the D point which is called as boom right it's called as boom phase and in boom phase this is the you can say they when the economy is fully utilized a lot of unemployment uh, opportunities have been created production is increasing business is growing means it is in full boom right so a, a is the point of the uh, recession uh, where recession started this is depression now this is recovery and then here comes the boom so this is all about the what this is all about the business cycle so so far we have discussed uh, multiplier effect we said that when the things are when your government is spending one dollar so it is spending uh, of so its spending of one dollar leads to income of more than one dollar it has a multiple impact and similarly when we are um, uh, you can say um, and then we discuss the inflationary and deflationary gaps how it's going to affect when the economy is operating at full capacity level and there is an increase in the aggregate demand so it will lead to increase the price that is called as the inflationary gap the aggregate demand exceeds the aggregate supply and vice versa is the situation for deflationary gap and then we discuss the uh, business cycle or the trade cycle which has four phases which has the recovery phase sorry which has the recession phase depression phase and then recovery and then boom and why it happens how it happens right so this is all about the trade cycle okay next is uh, inflation and its consequences uh, next variable is inflation and inflation is what as I told you a little earlier that inflation is the name given to what to an increase in the price when there is a overall increase overall journal increase in the price that is simply called as inflation if you want to write the definitions you can write it's a simple gradual increase in overall price level it is known as inflation simple right means it's not the phenomena of one day or it is not the phenomena of one product when there is increase it's a gradual increase in the price level of uh, different commodities over a period of time so it's called as inflation so it's also manifest uh, in the decline in the purchasing power of the money so in other words you can also explain that when there is inflation so there is a there is a decrease in the purchasing power of the money how it works like you see even if, if the previously the price of something was 10 and now the price has been increased to 11 so what does it mean it means that the value of 10 dollar note or 10 pound 
note has decreased now you cannot buy the same amount of goods with the help of 10 pounds right previously which you could buy it now you need to have one more so the value of the money has been decreased so uh, th this these two are the same in one right so if the price is increases so it in other words you can say the value of money decreases or you can say the purchasing power of the money decreases right whatever we could purchase previously with the help of same amount now we cannot purchase the same amount of the goods we may need more money now is inflation a really a problem yes it is in any economy having inflation can create a number of issues for the economy so uh, for example what those issues can be uh, that issues can be the redistribution of the income because now rich might be getting richer and the poor might be getting poorer uh, it might create the, uh, the, the the disruption in the equilibrium as we discussed uh, earlier inflationary and deflationary gap so it might uh, impact your balance of payment system because no uh, let's suppose if the exchange rate has been affected because of this so now you have to pay more uh, to the rest of the world right if there's an inflation in the economy so means there are a number of issues that can arise because of the inflation so it's a serious issue that we need to take care of it we means the government has to take care of it right now first of all how to calculate it how come we know that there is inflation so inflation there are various methods to calculate inflation here we are discussing the most commonly used that is called as CPI consumer price index now what is consumer price index it is based on the chosen basket of items we have certain basket of items um, certain items uh, basket made of certain items for uh, there are around 300 to 500 items right it vary from as per different definition it is it varies right so what uh, like it concludes kitchen items food shelter and uh, dresses and so many other services that we commonly use right so what we do uh, we take the prices uh, of all these goods of the previous time and then we take the prices of the same goods of the current time and then we see how much there's a difference and we find out the percentage and the average of all that is called as inflation right so whatever overall increase uh, in the prices some might some good might have increased uh, there might be an increase in the prices of five percent somewhere it is three percent somewhere it is two percent some might have decreased the prices but when we take overall total and find the average so it gives us a figure maybe let's suppose it is three percent right so means overall the prices have been increased by three percent and you can also calculate it by um, you can say quarter to quarter uh, week to week and we can say year to year since the more the system is computerized the more you can easily calculate it right it means the statistical bureau have the data and say so they can help you so uh, with the help of the software and the data they can easily calculate it uh, the country which are less developing countries um, Asian countries etc or some Africans so there we are not having that st systemized kind of system and so it's a little difficult to calculate exact amount of inflation uh, because the sufficient data is not available so here one point is uh, further we can add a weighing a weighting is decided for each item according to the average spending on the economy let's suppose for wheat we can assign 2% weight or 5% weight and for dresses we can assign 3% weight you see so the more that we use that good the more we can assign the weight now again it's a relative term right it vary from country to country so consumer price index may be used for several purposes for example it is an indicator of inflationary pressure in the economy as a benchmark for the wages negotiations how uh, what does it mean it means that let's suppose previously my wage was her one thousand dollar right now uh, since there is a five percent inflation so it means I am supposed to give uh, or supposed to get five percent income uh, increment in the income so that increment uh, if I get five percent increment so it means that I am now the, at the same level of income as pre in the previous year right like previous year it was um, let's suppose uh, 1000 and now it is $1,050 right so means there is no increase in the income apparently there is an increase of $50 but there is an oh, at the same time uh, there is inflation of 5% as well in the economy so 
uh, it does not add anything to my uh, income right so means when i'm going to negotiate b 